country i'll be reviewing this brand new documentary just dropped on netflix called chris rock kevin hard headliners only and this documentary uh, tells a story about i guess chris rock and kevin hart they went on this tour together and this documentary it is about behind the scene like what made them do this uh, tour together and when i was watching this uh, documentary i was thinking about that you know recently there was a documentary uh, from beyonce which was a technically huge flop at the box office uh, these days i guess these people they are famous people they do this uh, tour now they're coming back and they're doing documentary why they did that uh, that means, of course, the, any reason anybody will see this documentary, that will be because of Chris Rock. Uh, when you hear him or uh, here he is in this documentary, you are like, whoa, uh, I should check this out after that incident with Will Smith. Is he talking about in the, uh, Will Smith in this documentary? A lot of people will be wondering if you are thinking about that, is this documentary is not about that. That means I wish Netflix made a behind the scene documentary on the stand-up that Chris Rock did on that slap. Oh, what was its name? I wish Netflix made documentary on that. That could have been a huge hit. That said, you know, Kevin Hart to me always, he is a movie actor. You know, he's a, uh, like, I didn't know actually he's a big comedian. I guess he does sold out a lot of stadiums. I personally, I have never seen Kevin Hart's stand-up comedy and i was hoping we'll be seeing some here obviously it's behind the scene this kind of stuff is always uh, disappointing in some front uh out. so when i was uh, like this, the way this documentary start at first 10 15 minutes i was really like <laughs> i was going to turn this off i was like i don't care about any of this uh because these are behind the scene like who cares they went on a tour but this documentary dramatically it actually quite became interesting for me once chris rock he was talking about how he became this comedian he's today some of this behind the scene i found personally very interesting and uh, yeah after the watching this documentary the only thing i'm thinking here is where is adam sandler because everybody know in the world adam sandler and chris rock they're the best friend you know he's not here or did i miss him uh, I was really, I, I really thought Adam Sandler will be on this documentary. Obviously, this is produced by Kevin Hart, so his production. So, you know, Kevin Hart is not going to get Adam Sandler. Uh, to me, uh, I personally, as I was saying, I, I do like Kevin Hart as the actor. Actually, I have, I don't think I have never missed any of his movie. I have seen all Kevin Hart's movie there on Netflix or anywhere. I do check them out. Uh, I do like him as the actor on the screen. I think he's very charming. And my whole family like watching Kevin Hart's movie. So you know, I do like him. And his movies are on Netflix is actually a huge hit. Uh, that means uh, I personally did not like every time Kevin Hart, he was talking in this documentary. He was trying too hard. I felt like he was trying to be catch this uh, Chris Rock incident with Will Smith. That was I was thinking back of my head because... Uh, a couple of months ago, actually, Kevin Hart, he came out and he said, uh, Will Smith and Chris Rock, they're okay. Uh, that is, uh, of course, Chris Rock, he personally probably doesn't like talking about Will Smith because and the, it is embarrassment for him. You know, he got slapped by him on a stage. So there is only one joke about that. <laughs> uh, so here is the thing about this documentary. It's actually, uh, I, I, it's overall, it's quite good. It's definitely, if you like Chris Rock, you should check this out. Oh, I forgot to mention his brother in this. I liked his brother's interview as well. Uh, I, I'm glad that uh, his brother got a chance to shine here because looks like he's a really good brother to Chris Rock. And uh, Jerry Seinfeld, uh, Bill Barr. Bill Barr was in this. And what is the other uh, comedian? He's, I, I have never seen Dave Chappelle's comedy, but I know he's big. Uh, he was also in this. And also another comedian, Martin Lawrence Martin, he's also in this. Uh, yeah, all these comedians, they do come in and they talk about Chris Rock, Kevin Hart again. <laughs> to me, Kevin Hart is not a, like, I don't see him as a stand-up comedian person. I see him as an actor. I do think he's a, like a charming actor. He's not Oscar-worthy actor by any means. But to me, I don't buy him as a stand-up comedy there. Maybe because I am a movie critic, that is why my thinking on this is different. But I bet general audience, general audience who watches him, they will like his bit. But I personally like all the Chris Rock scene, and I thought it was overall quite entertaining. Uh, 
it was nice seeing this guy actually finally getting his light to shine i personally wish they bought adam sandler adam sandler is always working for netflix why is he not in this like he's like on their on call employee for netflix he's getting all this paycheck from netflix so why he's not here bill Barr was here why not adam sandler and that's my thought on this let me in the comment what do you think about this documentary if you enjoyed about this video this review on this documentary don't forget to check my other review on other documentary if you enjoy this please subscribe until i see you next time please take care